I'm a bad guy. What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're taking a look at another film review. Today we're taking a look at Bad Guys. If you didn't know that Billy Elliot intro, that's what that was for. But, you know, Billy Elliot intro, we love that. However, did you know Billy Elish has added quite a few people into their close friend story? I am now in Billy Elish's close friends on Instagram. So, a little humble brag right there. Billy Elish and I, we're very tight, we're very close friends. Look at us go, making my way in the world. But, we're actually taking a look at the DreamWorks film Bad Guys, which I do believe is an animation masterpiece. It is anything but bad, I'm gonna be honest. So... As per usual with these film reviews, we get into the actual story of the show, story of the movie, and then we'll get into like how I feel about it, what I think the movie like did well, what I didn't think it did well, and what I actually rate it overall. So, the bad guys. After a lifetime of legendary heists, notorious criminals Mr. Wolf, Mr. Snake, Mr. Piranha, Mr. Shark, and Mrs. Tarantula are finally caught. To avoid a prison sentence, they... The animal outlaws must pull off the most challenging con yet, becoming model citizens under the tutelage of their mentor, Professor Marmalade. The dubious gang sets out to fool the world that they're turning good. Sorry, I do struggle with reading, as most of you do know, but that is the basic plot from Google, so there will be spoilers from here and out in this video, so you have been warned. Click away now if you do not want to be spoiled. But today is Bad Guys, and it starts off with the gang stealing. Well, they're actually in a diner. They rob a bank, and it's just showing us each character's skill sets. It's like the horror movie trope for heist movies. It starts off with a heist, and the heroes sort of doing the heist, so we know how they sort of work as a team, what their skill sets are, and we get to introduce them to them one by one. They then decide they need to go bigger or go home, and they try and rob a big award show. They were almost successful, but Wolf was a little bit distracted and got them all caught. However, he gets them all uncaught, and... They then try and be good, and it goes through like this training montage of them getting worse, and then getting better, and then them being backstabbed when the media goes missing, and they go to prison. But they find out that Dr. Marmalade, the person that was training them to be good through the training montage, was actually secretly playing them his entire time. He was the main villain that was acting good, and he did it better than they did, and he just got them to be the biggest criminals. He got them to be the biggest criminals. And obviously no one would believe, like, Mr. Wolf when little, little Marmalade, the little guinea pig, was adorable. But then they get broken out by the Fox president or the governor. And they then fight Snake. Like, they argue with Snake. Snake joins Marmalade. And it's like a load of fucking double crosses laying on top of each other with Snake double crossing Marmalade to join Wolf. And then Wolf double crossing, like... Then Marmalade double-crossing Wolf. It was all really confusing. And there were so many double-crosses and plot points and, like, changes and tomfooleries, red herrings and stuff like that, which are normal for a heist movie. But I felt like this one was really unique with, obviously, these characters being, obviously, wolves and animals. However, they were the only animals in this universe. Like, the main characters are the fox, the wolf, the snake, the piranha, the shark, the tarantula, the, the guinea pig... They were the animals. They, they were humanoid animals and the only humanoid animals in the entire film. The rest of the people were humans. And with that, I feel like you really should have made up your mind whether you wanted everyone to be animals or whether you all wanted to be humans, if that makes sense. Because they never really explained why these animals were talking and were walking around, but they just were. And the most focus did go on like, Wolf and Snake and their friendship and how much Wolf was lying to Snake and how, like, Snake was feeling and reacting to it because he technically lied to Snake for a while and actually did want to turn good and Snake didn't, but they all ended up turning good anyway in the end. So it's, like, a story of, like, turning over a new leaf and anyone can change if they wanted to. It's a story of change. And 
The animation is pretty interesting. It did seem to try and do a little bit of what Spider-Verse does with a little bit of 2D and 3D mixed in together. It's nowhere near on the level of Puss in Boots, a movie which they put out a couple of date like a couple of months before this one. So I do feel like there's a little bit of confusion there with um, what movie was supposed to be going on when. But, you know, it does have a unique art style to it, and I do love that art style. It's just so fucking sweet. I really like the 2D and 3D art style that Spider-Verse has set the new president for. However, I feel like I love it now, but it's going to get old and boring later. But, I don't know. I'm excited to see what else is to come and what other sort of challenges and sort of new sort of... Like, new sort of status quo is that they're setting for new movies. Because the lighting and the colours of this movie was really good. The story was... It's sort of mediocre and basic, and I'm going to put it like that. It's like a basic sort of like heist movie. I felt like they didn't focus on every member of the team equally. Like It was a story mainly about Fox, Wolf, and Snake in The Guinea Pig, whereas Tarantula, Piranha, and Shark took a backseat, which is, is to be expected. Like They're not as going to be well-known as the others, and they're just sort of vibing in the background. They're just there to sort of have a team. I don't think they really equated to much in the final end scene. It was, again, mainly just the others that they were focusing on and talking about, which, again, is okay, but I would have preferred them to focus on, like, everyone equally because I feel a little bit bad for, like, Shark and Piranha because they didn't get a lot of screen time. However, Aquafina was Tarantula, so I do, I do agree. Keep that to a minimum. A minimal as small as possible because she's fucking everywhere right now she plays the seagull in little mermaid and she's also playing like a fox in kung fu panda 4 but that's pretty much all i have to say about the movie the voice acting obviously they have some like really big names some of them are more annoying than others but they do well for voice actors they're like very good at conveying the emotion and the anger and i did feel for snake to be fair when wolf was lying to him but I also felt for Wolf when Snake just upped and left him and got angry and ditched. Like, I, I don't understand these lovers' quarrels between these two. Like, it, they're like an old married couple, I'm going to be honest. But I didn't, I didn't, I didn't really care for it that much because they focused a lot more on Wolf than they did with Snake. So it wasn't like an equal bond and you obviously had to follow along with, with Wolf in the sort of backstory that they had with sort of Snake teaming up with... Marmalade was sort of out of the blue like I genuinely didn't expect that and it did catch me off guard like a lot I was genuinely confused with how long they were working together but that's that's pretty much it I don't have much else to say it is on Netflix you can go watch it I do feel like it deserves like a 6 out of 10 I'm glad I watched it but I probably won't watch it again it's not bad it's good it's a mediocre movie with another sort of further push into the animation industry but if you do want me to review any of the move, movies, animes, or TV shows, please do comment them down below and I'll watch them as soon as possible. Also, please let me know if you prefer these videos with or without a script, as this video did not have a script, but a couple of other videos that I did on this channel about film reviews had a script. So, you know, I'm sort of mixing it up, doing a little bit of 50-50 to try to get your guys' feel on which one you prefer, but... If you do want to help support me, please do consider liking and subscribing as it does help me out quite a lot. I know 98% of you are recurring viewers, but you're not subscribed. So what are you doing? Get on that. Subscribing's free and you can always change your mind later if you don't like my content and you actually do decide you don't actually like me. That's fine. I get it. Not many people do like me. And if you want to check out my TikTok, my Instagram, go for it. It's in the link in the description in my link tree. But that is it for this movie review, so I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all have an amazing day. I'll see you all next one, and ta-ta. Bye-bye.